Good morning and thank you for joining me today at Minnedosa Beach. My name is Amber Johnson. I am the manager of Parks and Recreation for the town of Minnedosa. Today I'm joined by, uh, by Stacy Brocholski, Lauren Edwards, Dr. Christopher Love and staff from the Life Saving Society Manitoba. I also have counselors Mark Blaze from the Minnedosa Town Council's Recreation and Cultural Committee. And we're gathered here today at Minnedosa Beach as part of our commitment to safer water on the first annual World Drowning Prevention Day. I am proud to announce today that as part of Manitoba Coalition for Safer Waters Initiative, the Town of Minnedosa Recreation and Cultural Committee will be providing Minnedosa Beach with a life jacket loaner station. This station, which is currently being built by a local Menshed group, will be accessible to Minnedosa residents and visitors and will provide personal flotation devices from infant to adult extra large sizes on loan from May long weekend to September long weekend annually with daily access hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. On behalf of the Town of Minnedosa's Parks and Recreation Services, I am excited to see this Life Jacket Loaner Station project become an addition to Minnedosa Beach. I'm looking forward to our continued partnership with Life Saving Society Manitoba. And I will now pass the podium over to Stacey Grochosi, who is the Executive Director for Life Saving Society of Manitoba. Thanks, Amber. Well, welcome everyone. As Amber said, I'm Stacey Gertolsky, the Executive Director of the Life Saving Society Manitoba. We're here for two important reasons. The first is to mark the first ever World Drowning Prevention Day. This global advocacy event serves as an opportunity to highlight the tragic and profound impact of drowning on families and communities and offer life-saving solutions to prevent it. An estimated 236,000 people drown every year. And drowning is among the 10 leading causes of death for children and youth aged 1 to 24 years. More than 90% of drowning deaths occur in rivers, lakes, wells, and domestic water storage vessels in low and middle income countries, with children and adolescents in rural areas disproportionately affected. All stakeholders are invited to mark World Drowning Prevention Day, like I said, which is today, such as governments, UN agencies, civil society organizations, the private sector, academia, and individuals, by highlighting the need for urgent, coordinated, and multi-sectorial action on proven measures, measures such as installing water or barriers, controlling access to water, Pro providing safe places away from water with capable child care for preschool children, teaching swimming, water safety, and safe rescue skills, training bystanders in safe rescue and resuscitation, setting and enforcing safe boating, shipping, and ferry regulations, including improved flood risk management as well. To help mark World Drowning Prevention Day in Manitoba, we are celebrating a decision by the town of Minnedosa to erect a life jacket loaner station here at the Minnedosa Beach. In 2021, Manitoba Drowning Report produced by the Life Saving Society shows there is still an urgent need to increase the use of life jackets and PFDs. It is an important layer of drowning prevention. We congratulate the town in recognizing this need and its decision to put up a life jacket loaner station. We are actually very, very thrilled. Life Saving Society Manitoba acts as the secretariat for the Manitoba Coalition for Safe Waters, an organization involving three stakeholders, all with ground intervention in mind. One of the two provincial government programs administered by the coalition is the Life Jacket Loaner Program, which has been distributing hundreds of PFDs to communities throughout Manitoba every year. It is our pleasure to donate this program, through this program, these PFDs for Minidose's Life Jacket Loaner Station. People in the community will be able to use these PFDs as an extra layer of safety when in, on, and around the water. Thank you. 
thank you so much for coming up today. In total, 26 life jackets will be stocked in the Minidosa Beach Life Jacket Loaner Station, ranging from children's sizes to extra large. Johnson says they expect to have the station operational as soon as it can be constructed, and certainly before the end of the summer. World Drowning Prevention Day, July 25th, was declared through the April 2021 UN General Assembly and is being observed for the first time this year. The event not only brings attention to the prevalence and impact of drowning deaths, but also provides an opportunity for many levels of engagement, from individuals to governments, to lead or participate in initiatives to head off those preventable tragedies. According to the World Health Organization, children and adolescents in rural areas are disproportionately affected by drowning. In the five-year span between 2014 and 2018, there were over 110 water-related fatalities in Manitoba. According to the Drowning Prevention Research Centre Canada, 71% of drownings occur from May to September, and 36% of those take place in lakes or ponds, with a further 36% in rivers. Having access to and wearing PFDs or personal flotation devices saves lives. Um, how did this initiative get kicked off? Like, how did the partnership happen here? Well, it's through the Manitoba Safe Water Coalition uh, program. So we do um, we have lives, um, life jacket water programs across the province, actually. And so we reached out to Amber and said, hey, you know what, this is a great um, initiative on to earmark World Drowning Prevention Day, which is today. And would this be of interest? And uh, she was ecstatic about that and said, absolutely, this is something that, you know, we definitely need to have here in the Dosa. So that's how it kicked off. But it is a, it is a, a program, a partnership that we do right across, um, right across the province of Manitoba. So how many other locations are there for these stations? Oh off gosh. the top of your head. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren actually would know that. Do you know that, Lauren? Yeah, well, most of the stations are at uh, provincial campgrounds, like uh, Birds Hill Park, right. okay. uh, St. Mallow. Uh, they just put one up in uh, uh, the uh, Carberry uh, uh, Sand Hills there uh, about oh, yeah. two years ago, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so they're mostly at provincial campgrounds, but we're hoping that we can expand it uh, right. to other areas such as this. I mean, any community, that, I mean, it makes that sense. Yes. Look at, you're right by the water, right? So exactly. you know, it, it makes perfect sense. So, you know, we're hoping that uh, this is the beginning of uh, great things to come. And, and uh, you know, summertime, uh, you know, it's a, it's a time when uh, we get out there and, and uh, we want everybody to do that in the same way. Nice. Yeah. Are there any other sorts of programs other than the, the life jacket stations that the organization runs provincially? Well, we have our Water Smart program, so we have our Swim to Survive, um, which is you know, a program that we encourage all kids and children to take. Uh, we, you know, we've got many training programs as well. Uh, we've got the Community uh, uh, Safe Waters program as well, where we have grants for water safety as well. So we have public access just like a lot of awareness and education that we do as well. So. Okay. So is the um, the little loner station, like the, the construction of it, plus the life jackets and uh, flotation devices, is that all covered by you guys in Mendoza? That's covered by the province of Manitoba. Oh, okay. So the government of Manitoba provides um, oh. funding for that. And then we are the secretariat of that. And, right. Yeah. And, and the, then the, the actual the town. town covers the cost of the actual station. Okay. And we cover the cost of the, of the, the life jackets. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, w about when did you guys kind of get started in working in Minidosa? When was it that you reached out to Minidosa? Uh, it was a few, we, a few weeks ago, actually. Okay. A few weeks ago that we've been corresponding with Amber quite, uh, quite a bit about swimming um, lessons and okay. different programs here in the community. And so we were saying, here World Drowning Prevention Day was a great initiative. And so we asked Amber if they, you know, the town would be interested. And she said, absolutely, like this is something that we'd love to do. So it came together pretty quickly. Very came, yeah. Came together very, together very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, which is wonderful. Good. That we could do this on such an important day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, yeah.
a day I was unaware of until I heard about it well, here. It's a so brand new, yeah. Um, so it was passed only a couple of weeks ago at the UN. Um, okay. So we've put it together across the world very, very, very quickly. Like there's events going on throughout today across the world. Mm -hmm. You know, even in Sydney, Australia, like when we get back, we have to submit our photos and submit everything to Sydney, Australia, because they're putting everything together. Oh, so wow. Pretty amazing. That's really yeah. cool. It is very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time.